at Flict Laboratory, the hydraulic characteristics for each pump model are tested. The result is presented in the performance curve. In this film, we will show how the net positive suction head, NPSH curve, is determined. But first, something about cavitation. When the absolute pressure is reduced to less than vapor pressure, bubbles form and the liquid boils. For liquid flowing in channels and pipes, the absolute pressure decreases as the liquid velocity increases. In the rotodynamic pump, high velocity of the liquid are reached in some locations of the impeller blade channel. If sufficient pump inlet pressure is not available, bubbles will form and collapse. This phenomenon is known as cavitation. When the bubbles collapse, it may damage the impeller and pump housing. If the cavitation gets heavy, it may degree the pump performance and cause physical damage to the pump and reduce its life. The inlet pressure must therefore be high enough to prevent that the liquid in the pump starts to boil and cause harmful cavitation. Here, a 2660 dewatering pump will be tested at the Flict laboratory to determine its NPSH curve. The pump is rigged for the test. Head flow, power and inlet pressure will be measured. With an adjustable inlet valve device, the inlet area can be adjusted for the different test runs. Two pressure transducers is measuring the pressures. The pump is lowered into the basin. The inlet valve is being adjusted for each test run. The pump is started from the control room. Head, flow and power are being monitored and measured during the test. The water temperature and the atmospheric pressure are also registered. A number of duty points are measured in each test run. The duty points are constantly being compared to a pump performance reference curve. Here we can see a number of measured duty points in a typical drop curve. Notice how the pump performance at a certain point drops, deviating from the reference curve. At this point, we have cavitation affecting the pump performance. And we know that the measured inlet pressure at this flow is what the pump requires for proper performance. The measured test curve are processed by the computer. The same routine is repeated for different positions of the inlet valve until we have a complete NPSH curve. The result of the test can be seen as a NPSHR curve in the performance curve document. 